Hello guys, in this video we are gonna discuss about the differences between nucleophilicity and basicity. We are gonna apply some terms and conditions to the base and the nucleophile and we will see whether they are fulfilling those conditions and how they are fulfilling those conditions. So first is the definition. So by definition a base is a species which donates its electron pair to a proton in compared to a nucleophile which by definition donates its electron pair to any atoms other than proton so here you can see that base can only donates they are electron pairs to protons but in case of nucleophile the electron pair of a nucleophile can only be donated towards any other atoms but not to the proton so the second condition is equilibrium so in case of base suppose we are reacting triethylamine with acetic acid we can easily see that that this lone pair of the triethylamine will extract a proton from the acetic acid and this ammonium salt will form we know that there exists equilibrium because full conversion will never happen a triethylamine will extract proton from acetate and then it will form this salt the salt will decompose and then again will go back to the starting base and acids so there will be a thermodynamic situation But in case of nucleophile, if we consider a nucleophilic reaction, suppose we are considering a SN2 reaction where OH- is reacting with methyl bromide. So here we know that once this reaction takes place, there is no going back. This Br- can never attack to this CH3 again and this which cannot be released as a living group from this methanol to provide the starting material. So in case of nucleophile, there does not exist any thermodynamic situation or equilibrium. There exists the kinetic situation. The next condition is steric influence if we have a base suppose we have a base OH- minus, irrespective of the size of the acid OH- minus will extract the acidic hydrogen from the molecule but in case of nucleophile the steric factor plays a major influence in determining the effective reaction between a nucleophile and a substrate. So for example we know that OH- can react with methyl bromide and thereby produce this methanol. But if we choose this substrate this neopentyl bromide the nucleophilic attack cannot happen from the backside of this carbon bromine bond and that's why there will be no substitution reaction so in one condition OH- minus acting as a very good nucleophile but in other condition where steric factor is in play it cannot show its nucleophilicity but it is not the case where OH- minus is acting as a base it can show its basicity irrespective of the size of the acid molecule that is the molecule containing a acidic proton 
can be abstracted by OH minus. The next condition is the hardness and the softness. We all know that oxygen fluorine, nitrogen these elements are highly electronegative elements so what does it mean if this uh, atoms possess any negative charge or any lone pair then they will hold it very firmly that is that lone pair and this negative charge will be held by this highly electronegative element like oxygen or fluorine or nitrogen very firmly they will not they will not want to share their pair of electrons with anybody so their nucleophilicity will be very less but interestingly their basicity will be very high we all know that oh minus is a very good base because oxygen atom is highly electronegative and then it comes for NH3 ammonia is also a very good base F- also possess some basic property but it is not the case for nucleophiles nucleophiles should always have softness let us consider this example It is a thiophenoxide. So we know that thiophenoxide is a very good nucleophile, but sulfur is a very less electronegative element. So if the electronegativity decreases, then the softness arises. So due to less electronegativity. the sulfur atom will hold its lone pair or a, any negative charge on it very loosely not so tightly so it can share its electron pair very easily to form any bond or can undergo any bonding interaction from a distance like in the transition state for sn2 reaction in case of sn2 reaction we all know that in the transition state the attacking nucleophile undergoes a partial bond formation this partial bond formation can only occur if this atom possesses high polarizability due to high polarizability it can easily share its outermost electrons to form partial bond in the transition state so high polarizability is a very essential criteria for any nucleophile to show its high nucleophilicity okay so now let's come to the attacking atom so suppose we have these anions all these anions contains oxygen which contains the negative charge so whether it is showing a nucleophilicity or basicity it will show through the oxygen atom so if we consider their basicity least basic anion here is no3 then it comes to bicarbonate anion and then acetate and then ethoxide so as we go from here to here the basicity increases but interestingly also the nucleophilicity also increases 
because here the oxygen atom the negative charge on the oxygen atom getting highly stabilized by delocalization in the nitrate molecule in case of hco3 there is also strong delocalization in case of acetate the extent of delocalization is less in case of ethoxide there is no delocalization so the density of the negative charge on oxygen atom is getting increased from nitrate to ethoxide so the ability to use the oxygen atom as a nucleophilic center is also increases so here as we go from nitrate to ethoxide the nucleophilicity also increases so for the same attacking atom the basicity and the nucleophilicity correlates very easily so if the base is strong then it should also possess strong nucleophilicity but the required condition is that the attacking atom must be the same so now we will go to the other condition which is the size so as we have seen small sized small sized elements always has higher electronegativity as we go down as we go down via the group from oxygen we go from sulfur the size increases so as the size increases the electronegativity also increases since the electronegativity increases the polarizability also increases and its nucleophilicity also increases in case of the halide group as you go from chlorine to bromine to iodine the size increases and due to the increased size iodine has the strongest polarizability and strongest nucleophilicity another condition we may impose which is a solvent basicity does not affected by the solvent so oh minus will show its basicity in methanol as well as in ethanol as well as in water molecule but nucleophilicity can be greatly affected by the solvent molecules since the nucleophile possesses a negative charge so if the size of the nucleophile is small then its charge density will be very high so polar protic solvents like ethanol or methanol or water will solve it this small sized anion or nucleophile very effectively whereas for large sized anion the charge density will be very less so solvation through hydrogen bonding will also be of less intensity which will let this i minus free to show its reactivity or rather its strong nucleophilicity so if we change the solvent from ethanol to acetone we can easily increase the nucleophilicity of i minus rapidly but the cl minus and br minus will not be affected so much so solvent plays a very crucial role in case of nucleophilicity so that's it this is a discussion about the differences between basicity and nucleophilicity if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section i will expect your subscription to my channel thank you for watching this video see you in the next video